The uh, moving of material in and out of the cell completely transparent to the robots. Speaking of robots, there are five six-axis ABB robots in each cell. And at each cycle, one set of door rings, a right and a left, comes off. And on the other line over there, a three set of pillars come off. In there, there's a six kilowatt laser and multiple quality inspected systems. So I'll start you from the beginning. In the beginning here, the robots will grab a set of each blank, bring them over to this pre-positioning table. Now this is a rough positioning. This isn't a true position, it's rough position. So it's set in there so that when the gantry, this big orange guy over here, comes in and it is grabbed by suction cups in steps. So every part is at a different height. So when it comes over to our magnetic table with precision, it brings down the first plank, pins it, and the next plank is crowded to that, crowded to that, and next plank is crowded to that, so that every seam is butted up next to each other. Then, once it gets to the welding process itself, there's a camera we call a seam tracker. That's the very the second screen in. That seam tracker tells the laser where to put the weld. What is the seam tracker right here? No, the seam tracker is in your, in your weld guide. Actually, every so there's camera, laser, camera, laser, right? So, in the seam tracker, what we'll do is we'll take a picture, or a series of pictures, hundreds of them, and it'll find the average gap between the parts, and we'll run the laser right up the gap there. And then, there's an inspection camera that goes through. That's the second, or the third screen in. That camera will go over the wall and read things like, you know, uh, gap width, 